guys. Today I have a hamster haul that I am really excited to share with you all because it is actually from Violvet. They are a company that's actually based in the UK but they ship all over the world including to the US so I was able to get my hands on some pretty cool UK products. I haven't ordered from them in a couple years so I'm pretty excited to show everyone what I got. I did actually post a live stream when I unboxed everything so if you missed my live stream fortunately I will just be showing everything today in a normal haul but some of you may already have seen what I got. So before I jump right into the haul I do want to answer just a couple quick questions about Violet because I know I'm going to get asked a lot of questions down in the comments so I'll just tell you a little bit about them in case you are based in the US or somewhere else around the world and you're interested in ordering from them. So they're based in the UK but shipping to the US costs a flat rate of 10 pounds. Right now 10 pounds is about 12 and a half US dollars. So from shipping all the way across the world it's not that bad of a deal. If you are interested in ordering from them I would suggest doing it pretty soon because right now the exchange rate is really really good. So I got everything pretty cheap compared to what it used to cost me. Like I said shipping is always 10 pounds. Right now that's about 12.50 in US dollars but I know when I used to order from them the 10 pounds was about 15 or 16 dollars. So everything was a little bit cheaper on my end this time. Now the only downside to shipping to the US is Violet actually does have a weight limit on how much you can order. I think it's like two kilograms. Don't quote me on that but it is a pretty decent sized box. I think I actually ended up getting 16 items which is pretty good but what I do is I add everything to my cart that I want and then if you go over the weight limit it will just take away the shipping option so then I delete stuff one by one until I hit right under that shipping mark and then the 10 pound shipping will show up and that tells you that you are under the limit and you're good to go. So my order did take exactly two weeks to get here which considering it's coming all the way from overseas I think is a pretty good shipping time. Like I said before I did order 16 items and my total including shipping came to I think it was right over 40 pounds which the exchange rate and everything that was I think it was around $54 US. So I got 16 items for $54 that includes shipping it all the way from the UK. So I think that's a pretty good deal so now that I told you a little bit about BioVet let's go ahead and get into the haul. So the first thing I picked up is something I've wanted to order from Violet for quite a while but every time I went to order they were actually out of stock and that is this really cute little rainbow bridge. I'm sure you've seen these in a lot of videos before. It seems like a lot of people have them but this is just by the Rosewood brand. I think almost everything I bought is by that brand. Um, I really really love their stuff but this is their boredom breaker line and it's just called the rainbow play bridge. I think it's really really cute and it will look really good in some upcoming cage themes. The next thing I got is a little Heidi house and this is an adorable little pair. This is just by the classic brand. Now there are three of these you can actually get and when you order you can't specify which one you want. You can either get a pear in orange I believe or a strawberry and the pear was actually the one I really really wanted so I was super excited when I opened up my package and saw that I got this pear. It is pretty big. I was worried it was going to be a little bit too small since I do have Syrians but I don't know if you can tell in my hand. It is a pretty decent size and I think it will look super cute in the cage. I also picked up some nesting material. I haven't ordered this before but I did order something very similar years ago. This is just called the Pet Life Safe Bed Paper Flakes. This is just some like really soft paper bedding. I know you can buy um like paper type nesting material here in the US but I just wanted to try this because I know the stuff I bought years ago was way softer than anything I found in the US. So hopefully this will be too. Feeling it through the bag it feels super soft and it is in a few different colors. I'm not sure how well my camera picks that up. Most of it is green and white. There's a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue, and like a couple little pieces of red. The next item I actually got two of and this is the first treat item I got. It's something I've tried before but not with Matilda or Eduardo. These are the Vitacraft Rollinis. So these are just some little seed treats. I really love these because they're nice and small. The size is super super convenient. All the seed bars I get here are too big so I have to worry about taking them out but these are like more of a little bite sized snack seed bar or seed ball. Let me see how many are in here. I think there's like seven or so in here. They're really good size and these are the apple flavor. They're both the apple flavor. I went ahead and got two of them because I know the hamsters are really going to like these. And sticking with that treat theme I did get another little bag of treats. These are the Vet IQ Niblots and they are the berry flavor. They're just like a little crunchy treat and then they actually have a soft little berry center. I've never seen anything like these in the US so I thought I would go ahead and try them out. It just says they are for small animals. One thing I do have to say that I like with most of the UK treats that I order is the bags are usually quite a bit smaller than you get in the US. 
A lot of hamster treats in the US do come in pretty big bags, so a lot of people think they're getting good deals, but me personally, I don't feed that many treats, so if I do buy a big bag of treats, I end up wasting a lot of them, so I really like when treats come in these smaller bags. That way I don't waste them before they go old. This is like 30 grams, so not too many, but it's definitely enough to try out and see if my hamsters like them. So the next item might seem kind of boring, but it's just something I really wanted to try out, and that is this classic water bottle. It seems like every hamster or small pet person I've watched in the UK uses these water bottles, and I've had some trouble in the US finding ones that I really, really like. So I thought I would just go ahead and try it. I know it was super cheap, and this is just the, what size is this? This is the 140 milliliter bottle. So this is just what it looks like. Nothing too exciting, just a water bottle, but I thought I'd try it out. To go along with that water bottle, I actually did pick up two food dishes. I got this really cute little orange one with polka dots, kind of like the pear house. This one came in a few different colors and you couldn't say which color you wanted, but they sent me this really cute orange one and I actually ordered two of them and they sent me a blue one. So I thought these were really, really cute. Luckily they were smart enough and didn't send me two of the same color. So these are just some really cute little polka dot bowls that once again will look really great in some colorful cage themes. The next item is the biggest item that I ordered. It's actually a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. It is this giant play tunnel. This is once again by the Rosewood brand Naturals and it is the Seagrass play tunnel. I did get this in the medium. I probably should have got it in the small, but I really just wanted to get the bigger one since I do have Syrian hamsters. I figured why not? This is just a really cool seagrass tunnel as you can see. It's about a foot long or so and I don't know who I'll give this to first. I might give it to Eduardo even though he's smaller. I think they'll really like to play in it and maybe climb on it since it is so big. But I just thought this was a pretty cool item that I hadn't seen anything like this in the US. So I really wanted to try it out. The next item I picked up is definitely the cutest item that I ordered. Once again, I did go ahead and pick up two of these since they are nice and small. It is the famous Woody's Caterpillar. Once again, it is by the Rosewood Boredom Breaker brand. I'm sure you've all seen these. It seems like everyone in the UK has these. They are these really cute little caterpillar. I'm not sure if my camera is going to focus. These wood caterpillar chews that are just held together by a little string. I had one of these years ago. I don't remember which hamster I gave it to, but I know they just chewed the string instantly so the caterpillar fell apart. So I did go ahead and get two of these. I think these are some of the cutest toys I've ever seen. If you're not in the UK and you can't order from Viovet for whatever reason, I know that Air Aaron's Animals actually just did a DIY of these really recently that looks really, really cute. They don't look exactly the same, but for making one yourself, she did show you how you can make some really cute caterpillar toys. So if you can't get your hands on one of these, I would definitely recommend checking out her channel if you haven't already, and she will show you how to make one. So it looks like I'm down to four items left to show you. Three of them are actually from the Rosewood Boredom Breaker line. I told you at the beginning of this video, I absolutely love that range of toys and most of what I ordered is from there. But the one thing left that is not from that line is this tiny Friends Farm Stickles. These are just some little treat sticks. This is the apple and cranberry flavor. I didn't notice that it says this one is for rabbits, guinea pigs, and chinchillas. I'll have to look at the ingredients. I'm sure it's fine for hamsters. Hopefully they will like them. It is topped with Timothy hay and I've never tried hay with my hamsters, but these are just some like little treat sticks. I don't know if my hamsters will really like them, but I just wanted to try them out and that is what they look like. And the last three things from the Border Breakers line are actually all wooden chews. My hamsters aren't big chewers, but I do like to give them a variety of different chews, including wood, just in case they feel the need to chew. And I thought these were all super cute, so even if they don't chew on them much, they will make great additions to their cage. The first one is actually just this little fruity roller. This is an orange. I know we used to have some similar to this in the US. Um, I used to get them, I think, at Petland. I had like a little like dragon or lizard or something and like a watermelon. I don't know if they have them anymore. I know I don't have mine anymore because that was years ago, but I picked up this really cute little orange. So even if they don't chew on it, I think this will look really cute in a cage. The next chew is these Woody's Nibble Sticks. These are just some like little 2D wooden chews. Once again, there's like an orange. I think that's an apple, a banana, and some grapes. I just noticed that I did get quite a few different fruit shaped items. Like I got all the chews, the pear house. So if you wanna see like a fruit cage theme, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments because I definitely think I have enough stuff for that now, but these are these cute little chews. And sticking with that food themed item, the last item is once again Woody's Nibble Sticks, but these are actually the 3D version. I thought these were super, super cute. There's like a little eggplant, some carrots, 
I don't know if that's an apple. That's just a green ball. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be an apple, what that's supposed to be. But I thought these were super cute. Like I said, again, don't know if they'll chew on them. They might nibble on them a little bit, but they'll look super cute in the cage. So that's everything I ordered for my hamsters from Viovet. Like I said in the beginning, they are based in the UK, but they do ship to the US and everywhere else in the world. So if you are in the US and you wanna get your hands on some UK products and try them out, I would definitely recommend checking it out. And the exchange rate is really good right now, so it is pretty affordable, even though you do have to pay a little bit higher shipping. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, seeing some different products. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss my upcoming videos, and I'll see you guys next time.